Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit sounds and graphics in the game Crossfire. Okay, first of all, you're gonna want to have the game, <coughs> but uh, open up uh, the file location or just click properties and right here open file location. This is for XP and Vista users. Go to res. This is the folder where you can change a lot of things. Here B in the folder BGM, uh, there is in-game music, such as this is the login music. This is when inside a room, and these two are st item storage and uh, item shop. So you're gonna wanna have, these are uh, mp3 files, .mp3. So you're gonna wanna have a song. It doesn't matter what format it's in, because uh, you can always uh, use a program called DB Power Amp Converter, which I have, which you can see right here. This is the icon for it. I downloaded it already. I'll try to find the link for it in the description. I have the full version, but you might want to get the trial version if you want. Okay, so I changed my I changed my sounds because I copied. Oh well. First, before you want to, before you edit anything, you should want to back up whatever whatever files you have, like this, this whole folder, or actually whatever you're gonna change. So you might want to back up this. You might want to back up this because we're gonna look at this later and this too. You might want to back up whatever you're gonna change, right, with the location, so you don't have to later look for the files and look where each one of them fits. Okay, to change these sounds, or delete, you can always delete those sounds, but I never tried it, so I don't know if it's gonna work. It might just uh, automatically put them back there. But to change them, you have to have a .mp3 file after it's converted, converted, and not, it can't be too big. See, these files are around 860 kilobytes to one megabyte, about there. So using uh, you can always use Audacity. It's a really it's a free program, really good for editing music. Open a music file like this and uh, save it. Cut cut whatever parts you want and then save it. But you can always use uh, your own music. You don't have to edit it or anything. I'm just showing you how to do this in case you want to do it. Okay, so you got this. Just replace the files. Remember, it has to be the exact same name as this here. So these are gonna be deleted. That's why you wanna back them up before you do so. These are gonna be deleted. And replace these files with whatever files you want. That doesn't matter about the tags here. It shows the tags. But it mm, doesn't matter if you have them or not. It still works. Okay, this folder here contains messages and radio messages and things like that the in-game music like these things barely any of them work like uh, Z8 and Sub Subway Games, Smilegate or whatever company actually edits these things uh, they didn't put a lot of effort in it and it doesn't work they, the maps with, like here this is an eagle eyes uh, sound I hope you can hear this, but like barely, it's not in the game actually. It's actually not in game. They put it in, didn't put it in the game. Okay, well, you can't do you don't you can't do anything with these because they didn't really update them at all to make them work in the game. But here in English and woman women, uh, you you can go in here and there's these are the radio messages. Blacklist and uh, global risk, like this. Or yeah, that. You can do this. These change those the same way that you change the in-game music. Except these are dot wav files. So you're gonna want to convert whatever you want into those files. And here, these are these are the things that I change up from here to this. I think and these dying uh, sounds um, you know as you know the I don't like the headshot sounds 
the multi kill sounds and all those things. So I changed it, like, let's say the headshot to the quake sound. Headshot. I really like it, but I don't know if you guys do, so. I'll, and just in case, I'll post it in the description also. I'll upload it to, like, Mega Upload or something. Here, you can change the woman's sounds. They have different sounds, as you might have no noticed. Like headshot. Headshot. These are also the quake sounds. Like, or, if you get a uh, 8 kill streak, like this. Oh, uh, I think that's pretty sick. Uh, but, yeah, it, they, these are also dot .wave files. So you want to do that. And then UI. These are where things can get a bit harder if you want to change them. I d personally, I didn't change anything, but I know you can. Because I, I, uh, you can delete those and they won't show up, or show up at all and things like that. So these are .tga files. So using Photoshop or GIMP, I think, will work. You can edit those like this, the badge headshot. You can edit this. Oh, this one and this one. I don't know which one works properly because here this this one has an underscore in front of the name and this one doesn't. I think if you want to have a different picture for the golden headshot, you might want to change both of them. Yeah, but it has to be the same name, obviously, and, th and things like that. Yeah. So here here is the tutorial. That's all there is. I hope you understood it. I hope you don't mind my accent. And I want to show you, uh, oh yeah, and in the description I'm going to post a link to the Mega Upload, so this is going to be this, uh, SND.2, here I have it, I have it right here, and if you like the sounds uh, you heard right now, you just open on uh, your Crossfire folder, original Crossfire folder, open SND2, uh, open dot, the res folder and copy this right here and you click yes and everything but I did it already so I, I'm not gonna do it again but yeah and this is also a really good website for sounds and skins and everything but I didn't figure out how to change skins in crossfire but it's probably gonna be someone's gonna figure it out and I'm gonna try to make a tutorial for this also skins uh, um, my bad. Sounds. Click on sounds. You, I personally like Counter Strike Source sounds. They're good quality, and there's a lot of them. There's the most for Counter Strike Source, and then Counter Strike Regular, 1.6. And then here they, for some reason, this thing doesn't work. Where you were able to choose if you want to sound for a gun or you want to sound for player death. But here you can just scroll down, look through the pages, and look for right here in those brackets and look for the type of sound that you want like other game startup music that's pretty cool too I think and or like right here there's some I don't want to scroll down, scroll down so it's like player death sounds I changed those too okay so you can play around with this but yeah these are pretty cool things that you can do with crossfire and um, I think that's it. I hope you guys have fun. I hope you like the tutorials. Please comment, subscribe, and rate my videos. Peace.